Chris Jericho is one of professional wrestling's biggest names, known for what he can do in the ring, but now he's hoping to use his platform to call attention to bullying in school. What's up, wet man? White Boy Radio, back with another one, man. Uh, just didn't get right into it. So uh, I spoke about this on the last slide that I did. Uh, this is Chris Jericho. He um, has a niece. First off, I want to say, anybody watching the channel, if you're from Florida, or even a Chris Jericho fan, I never knew he was from local here. He's from uh, Hillsboro, uh, which is uh, pretty much Tampa. Um, that's where he resides. Of course he does. Everybody's moving here. Um, but he uh, he has a niece in, in, in middle school, and uh, she got romped, um, straight up romped. Uh, no other way to put it. Uh, and it just like just like anything nowadays, um, somebody whipped their phone out and got it on camera, uh, and then it's on the it's on the internet. Um, and look, man, um, I got a lot of respect for this guy, and he deserves a video. Uh, look, I'm, I'm not a big wrestling fan, WWE, whatever, the fake stuff, um, more into the UFC stuff, but Chris Jericho, for the most part, he has good character, uh, never done anything grimy, um, never been in the wrong side of the law, always been kind of a stand-up dude as far as the WWE stuff goes. Um, didn't know he lived in Tampa. He gets a hold, he gets wind of this video, and uh, the guy's got 13 million followers, okay? Uh, he uh, used his followers as a uh, a good source, a good a good movement, man. Um, you know, without him, without the followers, without that pressure, nothing happens here. The the the, the phone calls don't get answered. The uh, the run around the run around game goes. The back pedal game goes. The excuses come. It would be every uh, it would be every parent's same exact scenario um but when he found out about it he's pretty mad uh let's check his response out i found out about it sunday night um and obviously was completely outraged as was everybody else in the family but the difference is i knew that i could shed a little light onto it and maybe make a little bit of a difference uh, not just for my niece um but also for every kid who's bullied that doesn't have a famous uncle uh, when you watch this video, it is a brutal, brutal beatdown with a gang of kids gathered around cheering and yelling and screaming and jeering, and it, it could have been stopped. And that's and that's my biggest problem with the whole the whole. So you see it, man. Um, the rest of this video he posts, I believe it, it was it's on Twitter. He tags the school, and uh, what they're doing now is they're they're applying pressure. You know, 13 million people. Obviously, not every follower is going to be involved in the movement, but. Look, Chris Jericho, he's a little bit older, man. Um, you know, most his followers, I would think, uh, they all have families, kids, whatnot, and they get involved, man. It, it's pretty cool to see something like this happen. You know, um, a lot of times on social media, you see people call on their followers to false report a, ch a channel or, or go report just something stupid, something negative. Uh, this is a good movement, man. Um, so look, I wanted to bring it to people. If you're a Chris Jericho fan or a, a Florida native man, get with it, man. Help him out. Um, the chick gets rocked. Uh, it's tough to watch. And one important thing that he does say in this video is, uh, look, I'm all I'm all for people standing up for bullies. I'm just not on it. I got bullied when I was a kid. Most people do. It, it's not an old life crutch of mine. I don't, you know. It doesn't make me weak, or I, I don't hide behind it. I just speak about it because I have a YouTube channel. Okay, um, you know, it, 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 it's embarrassing, man. Um, in a situation where I've got my ass kicked in school before, I'm getting bullied. It's a matter of fact. It was a, uh, uh, it was at a, at a homecoming, man. Uh, one of those things where everybody's in the like the whole school's there, and I got romped down there. Okay, uh, by the kid, you know, three grades older. You know, 30 pounds on me, I got romped. It's embarrassing. Uh, you know, everyone's seen you get, you get romped. It, uh, it does um, it does massive effects to uh, your self-esteem. You know, that was back then, okay? Look, my freshman year, 
or not my freshman, my high school year, I don't know, junior or senior year, I think I had my first cell phone. You know, all throughout high school, I had a beeper and stuff like that. But my point is, I, when I got romped that time, there was no viral video. There was nobody whipping out the cell phone. There was probably a few people that had cell phones, but nobody was thinking to do it. Um, there was no Twitter back then. There was none of this. It's just everything is on the phone now. So you have to think. Somebody getting bullied, especially if they're getting their ass handed to them for no reason, just on some bully stuff. It's like you they have there's that whole mental effect that most people are used to, and then there's the whole social media thing where it's like it's almost like double whammy. It's like you have to feel the natural thing of getting bullied and then you have to watch it posted and then people are commenting. Oh man, that would be, uh, it, 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 it's nuts. It, it makes you think, it makes you think, you know, especially with the Buffalo and, 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 the, and the latest thing in Dallas, you know, what if, some of these kids, what if, what if some of these shootings that we're seeing it, it, it's it's exactly that that they're just embarrassed and, and they don't want to face the school they just want to just they just want to take it out on their aggressors and, and, and whoever's in the way I mean it's very possible I'm sure I'm sure it's gone down like that way before cell phones and social media just on the natural way of things but things are so amplified nowadays you know um I thank God every day I don't have girls uh, first of all, if I had girls, especially teenage girls, uh, I'd be in prison. I'd, I'd be in prison. Um, you know, but but they have it bad. Uh, likes on these selfies, this and that. It's rough, man. It's rough, man. Kids nowadays, even breakups and stuff like that. Like, you know, you, you date somebody back in the day, you break up with them and that's just what it is. Sometimes gossip gets around and people are in your business, but now it's all posted on social media. It's out of control. Our whole lives are wrapped up in these phones. Uh, it's very hard to put the phones down. Um, I'm just saying. I can guarantee you this, whoever's watching this video, I'm worse off than you because I have, I, I'm doing the videos, I'm responding to the comments, I'm, I'm, I'm in it more than you. And that's not a good thing. Uh, it's very hard to put these things down. They're making them newer, they're making them better. They're keeping us engaged. It's just messed up, man. I just thought this is a good movement, man. If you want to get involved, check it, check out Chris Jericho's Twitter. Check out his social media. I think it's something worth, you know, worth the attention, worth the awareness, and it's something positive. The school, because of his celebrity status, the school will be forced to do, to do something, to do something on it, man. Maybe change a policy. Who knows? Um, you know, it's just tough, man. I think a lot of the times, I'm speaking on a, a, a few different things here, but you have to think, man, um, nowadays kids, and, and not just kids, I'm talking K through high school, they got a lot more to deal with mentally than we do. Uh, it's very different uh, if you really think about it. Tell me how you think about it in the comments. It's white boy radio, bam. Look at that. The little peanuts I make off this YouTube check, I put back into the studio. It's at White Boy Radio. Look, they messed the ad up. Come on, how hard was that, people? It's okay, though. We're not crying over spilt milk over here. But hey, it's at White Boy Radio on Twitter, IG, Minds, Getter. Get at it, man. Uh, Y'all stay safe. Stay off the phones as much as possible. Honestly, uh, look, I'd love to have a million subscribers. I really would. But it would make me uh, feel better if you put your phones down for a week. And it's okay you miss a few videos. Take yourself a social media break. I think everybody should. On that one, we're out of here. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Much love and respect. Big shout out to my members. You keep me going and my solid supporters. I salute and thank you. Until the next one.
I could care less about that attorney and whatever he feels and thinks about. That family has ignored phone calls. That girl used to live there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, bitches.